Hello there. In this video, I'll be showing you how to implement SICNN model on your computer. But before we begin with the implementation, let's develop a basic understanding of the SICNN model. If you already have the understanding, feel free to skip this section and jump directly into the implementation part. SICNN stands for Super Resolution Convolutional Neural Network. It was first introduced by Chao Dong and his colleagues. It became the first learning-based super-resolution algorithm or model. It was a deep convolutional neural network, and it learns end-to-end -end mapping of low-resolution to high-resolution image. This neural network model comprises of three neural network layers, and these three layers are responsible for performing the following four operations, namely pre-processing, feature extraction, non-linear mapping, and then reconstruction of the high resolution image. The architecture clearly shows that we have nine cross nine convolution followed by one cross one convolution and then finally followed by five cross five convolution. Thus, as we will code the model in the implementation section later, all we need to do is follow the architecture, thereby adding three convolutional layers to our model. First will be nine cross nine convolutional layer followed by 1 cross 1, but we will be using 3 cross 3 instead, and then followed by 5 cross 5 convolutional layer. Here we have a comparison of SRCNN model, bicubic interpolation, and sparse coding model on average peak signal to noise ratio, image quality metric, and clearly SRCNN outperforms the two. Interpolation tries curve fitting and does not add any new information to the signal, whereas neural network adds new information. And with that ability, it is able to outperform the image processing methods. Now, as we observe the result on the image captured by my webcam, we see that SRCNN model is able to improve the peak signal to noise ratio of the degraded image, reduce the mean square error of the degraded image, and also increase the structural simi simi similarity of the degraded image. A factor of two means that two pixels were averaged to get one pixel value in the degraded image, thereby decreasing the number of pixels in the degraded image by half, that is by a factor of two. And as we degrade the image by a factor of four, we see that the Increment in the peak signal to noise ratio has increased compared to the previous, and the reduction in mean square error has also decreased, thereby showing that when the image quality has been degraded too much, the model is not able to perform super resolution very well. These are a couple of standard results, followed by the references that were used for making this presentation. And let's move on to the implementation now. Thank you. So let's begin with the implementation. Here I have opened Google Colab and I'll be using it to write the code for our model. And the reason is because Google Colabs will save me the extra effort that is required on a personal computer of downloading the libraries. So here I do not have to download the libraries before I'm importing them. So if you are using your personal computer for writing the codes, make sure that you download the libraries. Now, before we begin with writing the code, let's first arrange the files on this uh, Google Colab so that we have the images and the in the right uh, directories so that we can use them in our codes and perform the super resolution using our model. So first of all, I'll create a folder over here and I'll name the folder as source. In this folder, I'll be storing all the raw uh, images. So the images on which, uh, on the, the original images. So these are the original images. The link is available on in the description of this video. I'll be choosing two images, one of my webcam and one standard image. So in the source, I have uploaded two images. 
Now I will add another folder and I'll name it images. In this folder, I'll store the degraded version of the original images and, and another folder that is output folder. In this folder, I intend to save the super resolution images that will be performed on the degraded images that will be stored in the images folder. All the folders are empty except the source folder for now. And in the source folder, we have the original images. It could be any number of images for the tutorial sake. I have selected just two images. One is standard and the other one is from my webcam. Now we are ready to begin with the coding. In the first cell, I'll be importing all the libraries and packages that will be required for building the SRCNN model. Um, the strategy to save the time uh, during this tutorial that I'll follow will be after uh, discussing what the cell is about, I'll pause the video and type out the code for that cell. And then when I'm done, I'll resume the video and explain what the coding is about uh, so that it saves the time where I'm typing it out and also trying to explain. So yes, that will be what I'll be following. With that, let's get to it. So these are the libraries that we will be using. Uh, the Keras library will be used for developing the neural network model. The CV2 library will be used for performing image processing. NumPy for better organization of the matrix. Matplotlib to plot the images uh, on a uh, access basis. Uh, SK image for uh, some uh, importing the image quality metrics uh, for scoring the images. Then we have uh, packages from Keras that we are that we will be using, as well as packages from SK Image and Matplotlib. Now in the next cell, we will be defining the image quality metric functions, and namely these are PSNR that is peak signal to noise ratio, MSE that is mean squared error, and then we have SSIM that is structural similarity. So the first function that we have is PSNR. In that function, what we are doing is we are simply applying the mathematical definition of peak signal to noise ratio. And that can be easily uh, found on the Wikipedia. Then the next function is mean squared error MSE. And again, in that we are doing nothing but simply applying the mean squared error mathematical definition. Next up, we have made a function that is compare image and that will be combining all the image quality metric and appending it to a scores list. So first of all, we append the PSNR function output to the scores list. Then we append the mean squared error function output to the scores list. And then uh, you must have noted, noticed that we haven't uh, defined a function for structural similarity. And that is because uh, we are going to use it directly from the SK image library that we have imported at the top. Now that we are done with this cell, we will be moving to the next cell. And in this cell, we will be programming for preparing the degraded images of the original images. So remember by now the source folder is only filled with images and the images folder and output folder is empty. In this cell, we will be um, obtaining the images for the images folder and uh, uploading it there. So the way we are degrading the image is uh, first of all, we are taking the input as a factor and here we are giving two as the factor. So what we are doing is we are reducing the height and width of the image by that factor. So we are essentially um, losing the number of pixels by that factor. And then the image that we have with uh, uh, height uh, divided by two factor and width divided by two factor losing two square fact, uh, pixels in the image, we are applying interpolation technique to get back the original image. But the trick here is uh, when we apply the interpolation, there will be loss in information because the interpolation is not a neural network. Um, it is simple mathematics and it will try curve fitting and there will be loss. So we will get a degraded version where the pixel accuracy will not be as good as the original. 
and thus we get the degraded version of the image and how are we applying interpolation and what is interpolation you need not bother what is interpolation at this stage um, but if you want to look up uh, I'll leave the link in the description and how we are applying interpolation we are using OpenCV library which is an image processing library now this degraded image is being written uh, we are taking the images from the source and we are writing the degraded image in the images folder so now source folder had the images and now the image folder has those degraded versions as well output folder is still empty though and we'll work on it in the later stages so now we have the image quality metric defined and we have the degraded image as well as the original good quality image as well so what we are going to do is we are going to test the quality difference between the original image and the degraded image using our image quality matrices so the code is pretty straightforward we set the target as the degraded image and reference as the original image and then we compare the images and that gives us scores in the scores we can see that peak signal to noise ratio for the first image which is the screenshot from my webcam has 39.47 mean square error is 22 and structural similarity is 0 0.97 and for the flower image we have some psnr mean square error and structural similarity values as well now what we will be trying to do is after performing the super resolution using SRCNN model on the degraded image we will try to improve these matrices values uh, thereby proving that we have improved the image quality moving on the next cell we will be coding for the SRCNN model so we will define the SRCNN model here Do you remember the architecture slide that we looked at way back in this video? If you don't, or if you have skipped, I recommend that you um, slide back to that slide and compare this code with that architecture. And you'll see that we have just copied that architecture and put it in terms of our code here. We have three layers in this neural network. The first layer has 128 filters followed by 64 filters. Then the first layer is a convolutional layer of 9 cross 9 dimension followed by a 3 cross 3 convolutional layer. In the architecture it was suggesting 1 cross 1 but we will be using 3 cross 3 and I had mentioned that back there as well. And then followed by a final convolutional layer which is of dimension 5 cross 5. Um, a quick question for you guys why are we using kernel sizes of odd digits why not even think about it and let me know in the comment section now let's move on and get the summary of the model that we have defined above that is our SRCNN model so SRCNN is equal to the model that we have defined over here and then I will be doing SRCNN dot summary So we have three convolutional 2D layers, first one with 128 filters, then 64 filters, and then the final with just one filter. So far out, we have been fair in our approach. And as we have progressed, we have tried to understand line by line what we are doing, where we are heading. And by this stage, we have the source image, we have the degraded image, we have the model ready. What we need to do next is train our model and get some results. And that is where at this point I'll be breaking the fairness and do some sort of cheating. In order to perform the super resolution, we will be needing some image processing functions that will basically involve cropping the images and training and then converting color spaces and then again training. And to do that, I'll be using a code from open source and I'll leave the GitHub link in the description. It's available. What I will do is I'll copy the code over here and also the corresponding training weights file. I'll attach it to the file section of this Google Colab. So what this will do is 
it will use those codes to perform the image processing functions and instead of training the model which will be very time consuming uh, we will take those already trained weights and implement it in our model so that it saves us the entire training process because training will involve a lot of source images and degraded images it uh, a model cannot be uh, trained on just two images for that matter it, it cannot be trained on just 50 images either it will need a huge amount of data and it will take a lot of time so to avoid that we will be using pre-trained weights and that i'll be getting from this github and i have attached the link in the description so in this section we will be defining the image processing functions and before we define those functions let's attach the file that i have talked about uh, this file is available on the github and also the link to that github is in the description i'll attach this file this file over here i'll attach it to our google collab it's being uploaded and it's there now so this file has the pre-trained weights of SRCNN model and we'll be using it to save time. So in this cell right here, I have given the reference to the file that we have uploaded and this file will be giving the weights to our model. And now the model is complete because it has those pre-trained weights and all the image processing functions that are required for super resolution. So when I run the code, we have original image, degraded image, and SRCNN image. So we have used matplotlib to plot the images, the original image, the degraded image, and the SRCNN image. And we have fed the input as degraded image, and we have got the output as SRCNN image. And what we intend to do is we intend to compare the original image and the SRCNN image and see how well our model has been able to uh, uh, do perform the super resolution so we can see that degraded image is quite blur original image was in a very good quality and SRCNN almost uh, brings back the good quality and sharpness back into the image from the degraded image that was lost so now that the model is ready I'll be performing or using that model to perform super resolution on all the images that are stored in the images folder that are those are the degraded images i'll perform super resolution on those degraded images and store them in the output folder in this cell what i'm doing is for every image in the images folder i'm passing that image into the predict function and that predict function is performing the super resolution and returning me the high resolution image and also the score corresponding score and at the very bottom of the cell we are saving the file that uh, that is we are writing the file in the output folder so now if you look at the left on the output folder you'll see that output folder is no longer empty it has the corresponding super resolution images so let's take a look at the result and assess how our model is performing so this was an image that was captured by my webcam it's me holding a paper which has some letters in different font size and some parallel lines. SRCNN is a 2014 model and on the webcam, virtually, I cannot see any differences in degraded image and SRCNN image. Um, however, even though there are no virtual enhancements in the image quality, let's take a look at what our image quality matrices are saying the peak signal to noise ratio has increased from 39.3 to 41.8 the mean squared error has been reduced from 22.5 to 12.6 the structural similarity of the image has been increased from 0.97 to 0.98 so even though we failed to observe any enhancement in the image quality visually, according to our matrices, there has been clearly enhancements done by SRCNN model on the degraded images. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helps you in your project. And if you liked it, do subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.